Hey for lifers, Bank for Life coming at you with um, the early release version of uh, Eris Armadon, the latest from the Infinite Infinity line from Ocular Max. Uh, let me quick say hi to Ridiculous Badger, McLu to G. <laughs> no, the streak is not coming into an end, but you know me, uh, I make it. I'll make it work, but. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the review. If you guys aren't familiar with this line, a little bit of history here. Um, so this is an original line for Ocular Max. It's um, basically uh, original characters, um, but they're modeled after certain characters. So the first release was Eris Coulter, which we have here. She's obviously a Fembot version of um, Tarn. And then this is a remold. They've done, I think, a couple of releases over her. Um, a darker color version. This, I think, is the re uh, original release. This is um, an actual remold and uh, of a new character, so not just a recolor. Hey, how's it going to Wilto Prime? Uh, this is obviously based off uh, Armada Megatron. So, uh, packaging review. Very nice packaging from Jugo King, as usual. Um, I actually looked up what pose I should do for uh, this guy, and I looked up, you know, Armada... Armada Megatron and went to the wiki page and it was a pose uh, that like this that's in my thumbnail and then I stood it next to the box without realizing that they also copied that same exact pose from that um, that wiki page but anyway on the top here you can see how she can uh, go into tank mode also has kind of that Armada option uh, for the kind of waist gun nice artwork here on the side as well as here on the back you can see that cool kind of transition uh, G1 style, as well as the decoder that uh, gives her all of her tech specs and a little bio here. So let's go ahead and get her out of packaging. So she comes in a plastic clamshell. She comes with, I think this is the baggie. Honestly, it's been a little while since I've opened this figure. So uh, she comes with a, a set of guns, which is remolded. It actually comes apart now, so you can use it for the... Um, the uh, side cannons and then just to be safe they had her horns or antenna whatever you want to call it separate and you just pop those on those are very easy we'll show that off and then we get the instructions the bio card and the decoder red piece here uh, actually let me bring the box back very quickly that I threw away so you can go like that and relive your g1 glory days where you can see her tech specs all right. Oh, uh, one thing I've always wanted to show off, and also a quick disclaimer. Uh, I think most of you who've been with the channel know this, but I do do work for, well, I am part of the uh, the um, uh, Ocular Max uh, Mastermind Creations team. As you can see, I get credited for doing the official manuals. Uh, so I always like to state that up front for transparency purposes. Uh, it doesn't impact my reviews, but uh, I always like to say that. So credits to the design, uh, Macotron, uh, packaging artwork with Go King, which we mentioned before. Photos by Ian Reed, aka Hard Return. Video manual by me, and then powered by Mastermind Creations. You can also use the QR code to take a look at their Facebook site. All right. Um, stack card is just kind of a plastic cardboard stack card, as you can see here. Same st tech specs and everything. A couple different poses. The instructions are here. This is kind of like um, official transformer style booklets now that there are really long fold outs instead of actual booklets which i actually find super annoying uh, but the transformation for this is exactly the same essential well very close to the same as before hey hey antoine how's it going as uh with the original eris coulter but there are some differences since it is remolded pretty heavily actually so we'll take a look side by side in a bit, but this is how she looks out of packaging. You gotta do a little bit of transformation here. So one of the things you need to do is just get this backpack kind of up and rotate it forward, get this around the tabbed in. You want to open up these flaps like so. Same thing on this side. Gonna get this around. You'll see a little tab here that goes into the slot. It's more like a, a placeholder as opposed to like a tab because it's open on one side. And then open this up like so. So that's the first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is just raise her shoulders up on those double hinges on both sides. They're quite tight on mine. There we go. You just want to get the hands rotated correctly. And then, as I mentioned before, 
you want to get the horns on. So uh, they are oriented, so just make sure that this protruding side faces the back, and you just tab them on to either side of the head to get her looking like her Megatron self, her badass Megatron self. B-A-M-S, BAMS, not a BAMF, but a BAMS. But yeah, that's what she looks like. Her cannon, um, standard position, you have it like this. And then you just tab it into her either of her forearms. Like so. Oh, sorry. Did I have it backwards? Sorry. I think it's supposed to be this way. Yeah, sorry, this way. Like so. And that's what she looks like. Hey, T-Man. Yeah, this stream just started uh, at 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's starting late today. I was late. I was very busy today. I was out most of the day picking up a very large mirror for my home gym. Uh, it, took, it was like an hour away. Actually, an hour and a half away. And it was raining. And it was pretty terrible. Um, but we finally got a big old a mirror that we have in our gym area in the basement now. So this is what she looks like. We'll do a quick 360 here. I just want to get her kind of straightened out. She's kind of leaning forward. But she looks quite nice. Nice vibrant purple, green colors. Very rem reminiscent of the source material, Armada Megatron. I don't have an Armada Megatron. Um, if you guys saw my, my toy hunt the other week, um, last week, I saw her at Walmart. And... Um, I was trying to get advice on whether I should pick her up, and no one really said to pick her up, so I didn't. And then everyone was saying, oh, she's all, uh, he's awesome. I should have gotten the Legacy one. Too late, so sad. Hey, Kek, how's it going? But yeah, she, she looks really quite nice. Uh, let's just do a very quick comparison side by side so you can see the remolded parts. So a lot of the parts are the same, but you can see the chest is heavily remolded here to be more Armada-esque, obviously the whole head and so forth. Uh, but... By and large, the other parts, like the, the shoulders, the forearms, the hands, the tank treads on the back here, um, the thighs, uh, a lot of that is the same. You will see that the feet and toes are remolded quite a bit. And then the cannon we already talked about, but everything else seems pretty much the same there. But the cannon, unlike the first one, that only tabs in like so, it doesn't rotate and are asymmetrical. These are actually symmetrical. Um, there's actually an added detail here, which will, which will show off in tank mode because that's where it really shines. Um, not really shines, but is actually useful, is this piece actually opens up. Not necessary, but a small detail. And like I said, there's actually an additional detail here where you can rotate that around. Uh, I'll take this off really quick just to show you the alternate uh, Armada-esque uh, styling of the cannon. So if you want to have a waist cannon, you can bring this down. You want to rotate this piece all the way around to the forward. So you kind of get this down, this first section down, this one rotated forward. And you'll see there's a little tab here and a corresponding tab there. You just want to tab that in, kind of coming from coming at, a, at an angle from underneath. And then you can have this cannon like so. So recreates the look a little bit obviously the look isn't totally the same um if you remember armada megatron had the treads facing forward on these big backpack pieces um and she didn't have and he didn't have treads on the shoulders but you know you kind of get evoked the same kind of styling and again the details that they put on like these even these small details here the paint on the abs and the legs and the, the really like um jagged toes and this vent area are all straight out of Armada Megatron. I think I'd rather had Pakes. What was that? What is what is in response to that? Pake for you need to give out better notification about your live st streaming schedule. I don't I don't have uh I I don't have <laughs> a, a schedule. Basically if I can get it done uh that'd be great. But uh, at this point I'm just I'm just too lazy. I just never know. Usually uh you'll find me here nine o'clock on Saturdays, but today I was working out late so Oh, uh, T-Man said I had to move stuff back home from storage now that the renovations are done. Nice. We've been keeping track of his renovations. Oh, you can also do this to both sides. So there's another one here. So if you want two waste cannons, you can do that. Before the SC game? I don't even know what SC is. 
South, South Carolina. I, I don't I don't know what SC is. Sports are not for me. Yeah, I, I'm just super impromptu. Um, sorry about that if I'm interfering with anybody's uh, sports or anything like that. I don't expect anybody to be dropping their favorite teams or anything like that to be watching one of my streams. All right. University of South Carolina. Uh, USC. Oh, I guess USC is University of Southern California. My bad. My bad. All right. So, yeah, we're not good at sports ball knowledge. That is definitely true. All right. So, let's go really quickly into some of the articulation that she has. She has a lot. So, you have these horns that actually move around on that rotational joint there. That's actually for transformation. Uh, she does have a ball jointed head that can go all the way around, up, look a lot up, um, look a lot down with in, in conjunction with the neck joint, which we're looking at here, which um, is very weird, but it gives you more range than most Transformer figures do, which is kind of nice. Um, shoulders, there's a lot of joints going on here. She has a butterfly joint, as you can see. Really just goes forward, not back. Uh, rotational joint here, and then double hinged shoulders that we showed off during out of the box positioning or trans transformation. So you can go down here and up here, uh, but there's also another rotational joint that's blocked by the shoulder. That's also for transformation, but you can actually make a little bit of use of that as well. The treads are very nice and do do uh, rotate quite quite nicely. Uh, they are plastic. The elbow, she has one elbow joint here, but she also has a kind of a hidden one that if you break apart this section, you can get more than 180 degrees, which is shocking. I don't know that I've ever seen an elbow joint that goes more than 180 degrees. You can see it's, it goes past parallel. Uh, if you need it, she has a elbow rotation slash bicep rotation. She has a ball jointed wrist, that goes into the socket in the, the forearm, but also a swivel or hinge at the wrist. So she can go like that. Um, the hands are really great. I always think MMC does really great hands, or Oculum Max does really great hands. Even with the smaller figures uh, like this, not even like combiners and so forth, uh, they do really great hands. So she has a ball joint at the base of the thumb, so you can get rotated all the way around. You know, come down here, rotate it around. Some of it's not anatomically correct. And then two additional joints, which are like pinless joints. I don't know what you would call them. Um, the hands, the fingers themselves, all splay. So you can get the, <laughs> the hands in really ridiculous positions. And then um, three joints at each finger. So... A lot of articulation there. They are kind of flat. That's the only downside of this figure is that the hands are very flat. Not of this figure, but of the hands themselves. That's the only downside there. But they can do a lot. And they're nice and tight. They're not ones that like are flopping around or anything like that. You can see they're pretty stiff at each of the joints. So good job on the hands. Uh, let's see. Coming to the waist, uh, she has an ab crunch at the top. You can see kind of the silver joint moving. But then she also has another, I think it's a, I actually think it's a ball joint maybe in in her crotch hip area. So she has two of that, so that can rotate as well as go forward and back. So I got to imagine it's some kind of ball peg or ball joint. Um, she actually has another rotational joint up at the top, but that locks into place. You can't really actually use that until you do transformation. Um, she has these weird hip tabs. Uh, these are going into the tabbing to the sides to lock those into place for alt mode, but we don't really use that for robot mode. Uh, legs, kind of a weird situation going on here. She has kind of an angled hip, but she also has double jointed hips here so that you can kind of make it look like she's kicking straight out. It's kind of, a, you'll see why they did it this way uh, for the, the tank. Um, art transformation. She also has a hidden thigh swivel here. It's actually really down by the mid thigh almost, but because of this covering, it, it's kind of hidden, so you don't know that what's going on there. So you have this hip rotation here, but also the thigh rotation there. Can go out not that much to the side unless you start rotating um, pieces. So that's one of the downsides. She has this really big uh, side hip piece here. She has 
I think a single jointed knee. A single jointed knee that goes all the way back, though. Um, elbow. Oh, not elbow. Knee. I can learn my anatomy. Knee swivel. She has double pinned um, kneecaps. She has this weird mid-thigh tilt. Uh, also a regular ankle tilt. And then her feet actually move this whole section will rotate. Uh, oh, sorry. This whole toe section rotates up and then points all the way down. And then the heel also will rotate all the way forward as well as all the way up. So a lot of rotation there at both the, the heel and I guess the front foot um, or midsole. And then she has toe articulation, which goes up and down. I don't remember if this is die cast or not. I think this might be die cast. I don't remember. Yeah, it is die cast. I don't think she has a ton of die cast, but I, I'm pretty sure these toes are die cast. Um, anything else to talk about in terms of articulation? Um, the backpacks, they're on a, a joint here as well as a hinge here. And then these separate pieces, as we showed before, can rotate all the way around. But they're supposed to sit into place here. All right, I think I showed everything. There's a lot of articulation. Again, that's one of the things that is really important to the Mastermind Creations um, team nowadays. Uh, you can see it with their Optus Pexis and all the remolds and recolors that they have of that figure. Um, another one that just got announced uh, for their Scourge kind of recolor. But this one is a predecessor to that line, but it has a ton of articulation. All right, um, gun, we already talked about that. This is going to rotate around here and also swivel around there. And then there's also some transformation that goes around. So we'll talk about that once we get into transformation itself, which we're going to get into now. So not a, uh, a super complex transform transformation, but it does have some things. I'll probably mess it up because I always tend to mess something up with this. Uh, the one thing that I always tend to do is forget to lock these hips in. So hopefully I won't forget because I'm going to do that first. So you want to release these tabs. Uh, release these hip pieces and tab them in like so. I do that first because I know I always forget, like 100%. I think in my previous review of Eris Coulter, I totally forgot. Uh, am I attending TFCon? I actually might be going to TFCon Orlando. Um, I haven't fully decided, but I think we might try to make it a family trip. The hands, you just want to kind of curl up. and You want to open up the forearm tab like so. You want to rotate it uh, outwards. 180, and then you want to start collapsing this in. You'll see a tab here that goes into the bicep. If you're doing it correctly. And then when you close this up, this will tab in right there. Uh, I like rotating the hands around so you don't see the fingers on, underneath. Not that you really look underneath the tank mode, but I just, I just do that. You don't need to do that. It's not an official transformation, but I do. Again, rotate this. Collapse this in. Close that up. Rotate this around like so. Now we're going to start dealing with the chest and midsection. We'll pull this down. Um, just get the arms kind of out of the way. And what you need to do is start untabbing these backpack pieces, these armatures. So you want to pull this out. You can see there's a little slot here. It kind of tabs in here. So you want to pull these out to the side. That will allow you to open and release the backpack. Uh, if I remember correctly, we need to rotate the head. All right, so once we have that done, you can actually rotate this whole entire mid body and lower body. So we want to rotate it like so, rotate it backwards. This is going to go lay flat. This chest piece is going to lay flat this way. And then this is going to come up like this, if I'm not mistaken. And then these antenna rotate back. Uh, but before we do that, I want to show you the shoulders. So the shoulders, you want to make sure that Hold on, let me, let's get it this way. You want to get these rotate. So this is going to be the bottom of, of the um, figure, okay? So, uh, sorry, this is, sorry, this is going to be the bottom of the figure. So you want to have these shoulders rotated up like so, and the treads will come down like that. You want to get this piece rotated around and tab them this way. So this entire armature piece, you want to rotate this up 
like so. Man, what's going on here? All right, like so. All right, so get these arms, like I said, up and out of the way. What is going on here? I feel like I'm, I feel like I messed something up already. I told you I was going to mess something up. Um, but let's continue with this first then. You want to fold these pieces in. Fold these pieces in. I always get confused when I rotate these pieces around because of the fact that um, I don't remember which way is up. All right, so we're going to leave it like this. So that's the back section. You're going to fold this down. The reason I don't do this now, though, is because you have to tab this in to the arms. The arms will kind of rotate this way. And you want to rotate them up. And you'll see this tab here will go into the kind of armpit area. So you just want to make sure that those are lined up like so. All right, like that. So same thing on this side. Make sure to... Bring these double hinges down, get this armpit in like so. And now we're going to bring this down. So this tab um, will go tab here will go into this slot, but there's also another tab on the inside that goes into that slot. So it's kind of confusing. You have to do uh, kind of a combination of opposing tabs. So you have to put this one in and then push this one up at the same time to lock this whole thing into the center as well as onto the arm. So same thing on this side here. We're going to rotate this down. Got to get this tab in first. Get this in. There's another tab there and a tab going up. So that's the most confusing part. All right, coming to the back, we're going to fold this piece down. And then we're going to have the head antenna rotate back and sit on the bottom like so. All right, with that, we're done with the more confusing part. Yeah, it is some weird yoga for sure. Now with the waist, we have to rotate 180. And now we're gonna split the legs apart. I watched my old video on how to transform this figure and I was acting like a 12 year old. I was talking about all sorts of things like spreading the legs and I'm gonna to try to refrain from my childish antics this time around. Yeah, gear walk mode. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you can say this is kind of a gear walk mode. All right, so when you uh, split the legs, you wanna move this one up like so, and then you're gonna double hinge these down. And this is why the hips are kind of weird. So you wanna, double hinge them up so that they go into this kind of um, leg cavity. With the legs now, we're going to tilt outwards on both of the legs. So tilt outwards like this. And then we're going to bend 180 at the knee joint. There is a small tab here that tabs in there. With the toe, we do want to make sure, uh, the heel, we do want to make sure that there is a small peg and corresponding hole that these are aligned and then you just fold up the toe on itself and it will kind of like sit like so so it's a little bit different than the Ares Coulter one which kind of slid in here this one just kind of sits on the back of the heel so that's it for that leg so same thing on this side we're going to angle this out we're going to rotate at the knee going all the way around tab this in Make sure that this heel piece is positioned correctly so the peg goes in and then rotate down on the toe as well as at the midsole. You kind of want to rotate that around and then tab that into place. With that, the transformation is basically done. The last thing we need to do is use the um, cannon attachment. So we're just going to open this up like so. We're going to rotate this around like that. And then we want to point these down a bit. So this tab will go into what is um, a slot that is located on her rear. Uh, that's the, the best way I'll put it to not be immature this time around. So once you um, uh, tab that in, <laughs> there is another tab on either side that corresponds to these thighs.
Come on. There we go. And then once that's done, you want to straighten out the the cannons turrets, uh, cannon barrels, like so. And then you can just push up on these kneecaps. And if you did it correctly, which I think I did, come on. Yeah, if you did that correctly, you should have Eris Armadon in her tank mode. And her tank mode is quite nice. It is the same as we saw before with Coulter. Uh, the only difference really being the cannons and some of the back pieces here. But the alt mode itself is much more similar than the robot mode that we saw before. Again, it does have working treads here. And again, the reason why I, I put the hands around this way is just so that you don't see the fingers. Not a big deal. Um, the horns are a new part of the transformation. But otherwise, uh, basically the same. The cool thing about this is that it uses that uh, waist joint that we, are, we weren't able to use in robot mode. Uh, so now that ends up becoming the turret rotation, which goes all the way around 360. You can get a little bit of, with that ab crunch, one of the ab crunches, um, you get some up and down. The cannons, again, can point down a bit separately from the actual turret itself. We showed this off at the beginning, but it actually has an open, open hatch here, which wasn't part of the design before. And what else is there? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, she doesn't come with anything else. Uh, so uh, you, there's nothing really else you can do with that. Um, I didn't try this before, but I'm pretty sure you can... I'm pretty sure you can just use the same turret if you want. If you have Eris Coulter, you should be able to use that same one. It should use the same um, pieces here, the tabs and the pegs. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll definitely work. That'll definitely work. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Mix and match. But it is a cool design. I do like it a lot. Um, is there anything to talk about in this mode? Not really. Uh, comparison with Streak, because I, I am forgetful. Thankfully, I think it might have been Princeton that reminded me last time. Or the Titan might have reminded me that I didn't do my Streak comparison. Uh, here, he, here she is with Bumblebee, MP Bumble, the red one. Um, any other figures that make sense? Uh, let's just bring out some random figures. Uh, here's some fans toys figures. Here is the mini, mini bots that come with, uh, Skyfire, Masterpiece Skyfire. Here's one of the many spikes. There we go. Jazz. All right, you get the idea. Looks pretty cool. I definitely like the alt modes on these. Um, but the downside being, you know, they're basically the same as what we got before. Uh, do I have fans hobby Armada Megatron to compare? No, I don't. Sp Springer? No, I don't have not, I don't have any alt mode figures right now. Um, let me give me a second here. Let me pause and see what, if there are any questions. On the Q and A, real quick. Uh, let's see here. Questions. Um, have you found the MMC Penguin on the figure yet? And how much does she weigh? Ignore if you've already had that. Okay, so I have not weighed that. So thanks for the reminder. Um, for the MMC Penguin, I did not look for it, but I'm guessing it's probably on the inside of this backpack. Oh, it's not. Oh. Let me see if I find it when we do transformation again. She is 236 grams, which is the same as 8.3 ounces. Yeah, I didn't look for the MMC Penguin, though. I don't know if... Do they put the Penguin on Ocular Max figures? I feel like they don't. Do they? I'm actually not sure. Uh, those are the only questions we've got so far, but if you do have questions, go ahead and drop them in the Q&A section. Also, I do have the poll up. I always forget to mention that. I do have a poll um, asking which of these uh, mold that you like the most, Eris Coulter, Eris Armadon that we're looking at now, neither, or why not both? With a little, I think she might be a Filipino girl. I don't know. That meme. All right, so let's transform back into robot mode and finish off the review. All right. 
First thing we'll do is point the guns down. Then we'll open up these legs, pull out the uh, peg here, or tab, close this up, rotate these around. And then again, we can have them angle this way, this way, this way, whatever you want. For the legs, we're gonna wanna pull out on the ankle joint to unpeg that small piece. We're gonna extend at the knee all the way around, straighten out the ankle and that mid shin joint that they have, bring the heel and toe around so that they're correctly positioned. And then lastly, we're gonna extend at the double hinged hip and then just cover up the gap here. There we go. So that's one leg done. Other leg, it's always much easier getting them transformed back into robot mode. Like I got a little confused earlier when I was trying to transform her into tank mode, but got it done. But on the way back, it should be way, way easier. Get these double hinge tips in. Close up this filler. And then we got the lower legs done. We do want to rotate 180 at some point. We can do that later. We can do that now, but that's how we go. Uh, let's see. Next, we're going to start untabbing the many tabs here. So there's tabs that go into the side here. Tabs that go into the side, as well as tabs that go in here. So just go ahead and pull this out. I like doing that. We're going to go ahead and get these shoulders rotated down. So this rotational joint, bring that down and then use the double hinge shoulder joint to get the shoulder angled upwards. Man, these, these shoulder joints are really tight. Come on. There we go. We want to get the horns rotated upwards and then we can rotate the head at really at any point. But you can see how, how things are going right now. Uh, the next thing we'll do is go ahead and split this section and then rotate these back like so. So we're gonna rotate the back like so. We're gonna rotate the entire chest. Um, we'll rotate this chest piece up, but then we wanna rotate at the midsection like so. That'll allow us to tab the chest in. Before we tab these backpack pieces in, we do wanna get the back on this double hinge lowered down like so. And again, this is why you need to make sure you got your shoulders correctly in place. That allows you to get the back cover tabbed in, and then you can tab these back in. This is what locks the backpack into place with this tab here. And then we can start messing with this section. So we want to open up this middle section, these middle flaps to create a gap in the robot mode. We're going to rotate this up like that and then rotate these pieces all the way around until we slot in to that little tab that we did at the beginning of the video. All right, before I forget, you do also wanna unlock the hips. So pull these tabs out. Come on. Ow, that hurt. And then lastly, we're gonna deal with the, the arms. Open this up, extend on that double hinge close that up and then get the elbow rotated 90 degrees inwards and then adjust your fist as needed. Same thing on this other side, open this up, extend, close this up and tab here, rotate, rotate this around and then we'll get this cannon on the arm for the uh, kind of standard, standard um, orientation for the cannon. And that's it. We're back in in uh, robot mode. I will do some additional comparisons before we sign off uh, in robot mode. So I really only showed her off before with um, Ares Coulter, which we'll bring back just because that's the one that makes the most sense. But we will also bring back some additional figures. Probably not Springer, just because I don't feel like going into the back of my cabinet again, which I always have to do for Anthony Brown. All right, so let's see here. There's, sorry, my display is not completely flat, so it's always a bit of a challenge to get them standing correctly. 
Like so. Uh, we'll bring in some other pen bots. Uh, here is Optus Pexis. So you can see just how big she is. Um, here she is with Bingo Toys Windblade. Uh, who else do we have? Why not? Just because I, I have him. MP44. Uh, I'll bring out RC. All right. So hopefully this gives you a good idea about the scale with the rest of the figures. Um, I don't think there are any other questions. So let me close out the, the poll to see what you all think of this mold from um, Eris. So 40% really enjoyed the Eris Coulter. Uh, second is neither. I guess a lot of you are not collecting this line. Not totally surprising since it's not a um, canonical line. It's an original line from Ocular Max. So I know not everyone's going to be interested in that, even though they are based on some other characters. So not that surprising. Uh, let's see. Why not both got 15% and the Eris Armadon coming up with in, in last with only 5% of the votes. And for once, the votes add up to 100%. It's a miracle. All right. Uh, what else do we got? Let's see if we have any other questions before we sign off. Uh, no additional questions. Did I miss any fan funding? All right, no donations. So no thank yous to anyone in particular, but thank you to all of you who've made it here today. I think uh, between 15 and 20 of you 20 of you so appreciate you guys uh joining even though i don't schedule things like i used to uh so that the easiest way to keep up is to either be in my discord or just um you know subscribe not gonna not gonna push you guys to do that i always enjoy it um if you guys do if you guys enjoy the, the stream give it a like share and subscribe you can still pick eris armadon who was um an early early release at tfcon uh, earlier this year, early this year, you can still pick her up at some retailers like my sponsor, Toy Dojo. I think it's 130 bucks. I do think 130 bucks is a lot for this figure, but then again, um, we're talking about figures that are recently just got announced today that are 220 dollars. Um, but that's something we'll probably talk about at TF News Live on TM Reviews channel, which will happen next week. I think next Wednesday I'll be back with T Man 978 and TM Reviews on TM Reviews channel. So if you're not already a subscriber, I'm, I imagine you will be, but uh, you are, uh, but we'll be on that channel talking about TF News. And I'm sure the Fans Toys news that came out and pricing that came out today will be uh, one of the main topics we're going to talk about there. Um, if you're catching this on the Rewind, have any questions or comments that I may have missed um, with this figure, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I reply, reply to almost 100% of my my um, comments that I get, and then a couple of shout outs um, to my channel. Um, thanks to everyone who's been joining. Uh, we're, we're at week 36 of 52. So my New Year's resolution for 2023 was to at least put out one video a week. I've definitely done that even when I've been on vacation, um, even if it is at 10 o'clock um, before the last day. Uh, if you have any interest in Discord, I have a Discord channel that should be in the description below as well. It's very low key. We talk about different things, not just Transformers. Uh, the one I'm actually probably most active in is with Craig Campbell, who's in the chat right now. We do, um, we do, we talk about exercising. So uh, if you have any interest in learning about exercising for other amateurs or just to get motivated, um, we also talk about non Transformers figures, gaming. TV shows, movies, really anything. So uh, if you have any interest, click on the description below uh, for that Discord link. Um, I will be back with the monthly Chatterday as well as the next episode, which will be episode two of this season of, of Transformers Jeopardy. So um, a lot of stuff coming up this month. Um, sorry I haven't been posting more frequently. It's been super busy at work, though. Uh, back to Starfield I go. I'll ho hopefully enjoy that liturgy. I heard it's basically um, Skyrim in space. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy that. All right, thanks everyone. Hope you have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.